Ooh, Yakety Mac. Hello, guys, and welcome to Yakety Mac. I am Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you watching. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're not, I hope you'll consider becoming one. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you'll consider subscribing and following along. Uh, it'd be much appreciated. All right, guys, so look. I am back on the Bass Raider today, and I'm going to tell you straight up, I am an idiot. It is an absolutely beautiful day. I did not know it was going to be this nice. I should be on the water. In fact, if I get through this little thing here where I'm going to show you, uh, I'm considering hitting the water and maybe make this a, a, a two-part system or maybe able to combine it all into one. Either way, I'm a fool. It is gorgeous, and I should be on the water. But rod storage. Uh, that's what we're here for. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, you know that I was frustrated with the lack of rod storage on this boat and the shallow gunnels and so forth. So I came up with a, a system where I took a two by four, wrapped it in some marine carpet and then put some vertical rod holders on there. And while that was better maybe than laying them in the gunnel system, it was problematic for two reasons. Number one, the rods stick up too high and I only use six and a half foot rods because I spend so much time on the kayak I just find six and a half foot to be kind of that that length where you can still work with them on a, on a smaller boat uh, but they were sticking up too high I tend to fish shallow water I tend to throw up into a lot of cover so therefore I get hung up and the last time I was on this boat I went in to retrieve a lure that was hung and got up into some trees up above me and I thought for sure I was going to snap one of my rod tips off. So that was problem number one. Problem number two is having them vertical. And even though I mounted that two by four here on the gunnel system, so it wasn't right here in the middle of the floorboard, they were always sticking up and I could always see them in my peripheral vision whenever I was maneuvering either left or right. And that bothered me. It was a mental thing. It was kind of like someone standing right behind me all the time, invading my personal space. And again, it's a it's an OCD thing, but it just bothered me that I could always see them like like right here. And even though it didn't interfere with my casting or anything, it just it just really wreaked havoc on my psyche. So I went out on the internet and said, "There's got to be a better solution, something more horizontal, uh, and not laying them in the gunnel system." Uh, and I think I found a really good alternative. Is it perfect? I don't know. I'm going to get this on the water to find out. But based upon what I'm seeing right here, looks like it may be uh, the best solution that I have seen so far. So let me show it to you guys. Okay, guys. So this is the two by four that I used when I same same piece that I had the vertical rod holders on. Uh, again, you can still see that I left two of them on here just in case I want to use them in the future. Uh, but then these two pieces here on the end, these are different types of holders. Um, and I mounted them onto the same two by four for a couple of reasons. One, if I ever want to change it out, it's much easier to just replace this piece of two by four than it is to patch holes in the boat. And two, the arms that come off of this have some heft to them. They're aluminum. They are very high quality. Uh, and I was concerned about too much flex and too much weight and pressure on this plastic. I bought some well nuts to put in there. And of course, the well nuts will help hold it and form a water seal. But you got to drill a pretty big hole to put the well nut down into. And if I decided at any point in the future that I wanted something different, then I was going to have that hole still there. So that's why I went here with the two by four. Let me show you the system. These arms are the rod holders. Simply press this button pop it into place. It has a 360, so you can put it directly flat if you want to. You can put it up like this if you want to. I've decided to kind of go with this angle right here for right now. Tighten it down. These are solid, and they've got a nice bungee on them here too to help hold the rods. Same here on this other one. Press the button, pop it into place, and there's a rod holder. So uh, it's very simple. You just press the button and pull it out. So easy for storage and transport of the boat. You don't have to leave them on there all the time. So guys, I'm going to grab four rods real quick. This is a four rod holder. They make an eight. To me, the eight is just going to extend way too far out past the boat to actually be reachable from the chair. These are very reachable. I'll show you that. By the way, if you're like, okay, that's real nice, Jeff. What are they? These are from Brocraft. I'll show you the box here. Of course, the shipping label has covered it up some, but Brocraft. And now this is not a cheap solution. If you like this and it's something you think you might be wanting to go with, this is not cheap. These were a hundred bucks, but it solves the headache of 
this basically useless gunnel system, then it'll be $100 well spent. So I'm going to grab some rods, throw them on there, and show you what it looks like. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like with the four rods on there. Uh, and so, again, at only six and a half foot, they really don't extend past the back of the boat. And when I'm out on this by myself, I will have all four of them facing this direction. However, when I go with someone else, I'm going to have their rods facing the other direction. So I'll change those out real quick. Okay, so it will look like this here. So two rods coming that direction, two rods going the other direction. So having this horizontal storage here really helps. And if you want to use this for something, I can't imagine what. It's raised up off of there, so it is still free. Uh, if you're someone who uses these little cutouts or these little spots here within the gunnel system. So guys, there it is, Brocraft, four rod, I think they call it a crappie rod holder. Um, doesn't really matter which type of rod that you put in there. I'm not sure why they call it the crappie. $100, $110, something like that from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below. Uh, it's about 1130 or so. If I take about a half hour to throw all my stuff in here and another 20 minutes to get to the lake, uh, maybe I can get some fishing in and show you what this looks like out on the water. Let's see if I can do it, guys. All right, guys. So we've managed to hit the water. Uh, this is freaking cool. Middle of January. I'm in shorts. We're on the water. It isn't going to stay like this. We got a massive cold front coming through in a couple of days. That's going to, going to test our resolve for sure. But for right now, this is gorgeous. All right, so let me show you the rod holder. Okay, guys, so there we are, and I've also put a, uh, I'm going to take the cam off here. I've also put a couple of paddle clips here on the side. Hold my net and hold my extendable paddle. There's the rod holder. Um, we're going to do some casting. I think I'm going to start off with this darker colored lure right here. It's a little zoom on a 1 8 ounce bullet weight I did not in the haste of getting out on the water I did not bring my my phone that I used for my depth finder but that's okay I know this water pretty well I just don't know what the temperature of it is uh, you know, I don't know any of those particulars, really, but I've been here numerous times, and I am doggone it. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Anyway, been here numerous times, and I know the terrain pretty well. I had someone tell me in a comment to one of my learning to fish videos that I really needed to slow down. So I am trying to focus on giving the bait more time. Of course, you know, I throw up into shallow a lot, so it doesn't take a lot, of, uh, a lot to get it to the bottom. Uh, but even still, uh, that's not the first time I've heard that most fishermen who think they're fishing slow are really are really not and should be fishing slower so I am uh, I am taking that advice and trying to trying to slow myself down some I have my first kayak bass tournament in less than two weeks and uh, Man, I'm looking forward to that, but this hard freeze that's coming through, I don't, I don't know what that's going to do as far as shocking the system. Because um, we've not had, I mean, we've had some, some cold fronts come through, but they've not been 
they've not been bad. This is going to be our first hard freeze. Uh, we don't even always get a hard freeze every year, so this is going to be our first hard freeze. And uh, it's going to last for about three days. And then, uh, and then after that, it warms up. But then we got another one coming through again. I don't know if that's going to be a hard freeze or not, but not sure what that's going to do as far as uh, how the fish will respond or react to that. I had it set up fishing for a solo, so all the rods were pointing back that way. No issues with casting or interference at all. But what if I've got this set up for two people, and so? The person in the back has their rods facing this way. And then of course I have my rods facing that way there. What is it like now? So um, I can put my foot up on the gunnel. Let's see if it, uh, you know, I've got the two rod tips up here kind of in my space, but in all fairness back there, uh, that fisherman will have my rod tip uh, in his space. So let me see if it affects anything from a casting perspective. Fishing perspective, I should say. So I've got my foot up on the gunnel. It does not affect anything. Now, what is not going to happen is um, we're not going to fish this side of the boat, really, because, again, me being a lefty, that means I'm coming back against this person here. Uh, and, and that's, you know, the whole reason why I've got this side set up. Uh, and vice versa, this person back here being a righty, their pole is going to come and be all up in my face so the plan is to never fish this side of the boat um you know an occasional cast here or there maybe if you flip it into something um but when you're rearing back and casting that's just not a that's just not a good thing to do with the the other person sitting back there so uh they do stick up here um they don't really affect you know i can still put my foot up here on the uh, on the side of the boat if i want to uh it doesn't really affect anything they are there and you just have to be cognizant of that. But they would be there if they were laying down in the gunnel system as well. So um, no interference from the rods. They're just... All right, guys. So I just finished up a couple hours on the water. And I mainly came out today to test out the new horizontal rod holder system. But I want to go on record saying I did not catch any fish. So the skunk is back on. <laughs> and uh, man, that stinks because it's been a while since I've skunked. But it is what it is. So it's the rod system. I think this is a really, really good system. I think it's going to work really well. I like how it gets the rods up off of the gunwale system. Um, I also like the fact that I've got it mounted here on this uh, 2x4 that I can also use to hold my net uh, and my expandable, uh, expandable paddle. Uh, so I guess the big question here is, is this worth $100? I think the answer to that is yes, and I'm going to say that for two reasons. One you're not going to really find any other system, or at least I haven't been able to, that's going to be much less than that. And two, these are very high quality. As soon as you touch it, you can feel that it's good quality. It's not cheap stuff that just happens to be overpriced. Uh, there's definitely some, uh, uh, some good quality and some good thought that went into this right here. So again, it is BroCraft. Uh, I got ordered it off of, uh, off of Amazon. I think BroCraft has a store on Amazon. So guys, I appreciate you hanging out. Subscribe, like, comment, share. I always enjoy spending time with you. Not sure when I'm going to get to again. We got some nasty cold weather coming. So I uh, took advantage of this while I could. So guys, take care, be safe, and make sure you always take time to get outside and play.